Deontay, uh, you've been dreaming about this day for a while. Everything you thought would be tonight? Man, man, it blew me away, man. You know, it, it's everything plus more. You know, uh, couldn't ask for, I couldn't ask for more, man. Everybody did a great job from, from setting up the show to having the show here at Sheldon State, their staff, you know, helping out. Everything was smoothly, everything was great. I mean, I think we gave the people what they wanted to see. You know, a lot of people have been waiting for this for a very long time, and I know people were satisfied, and they already asked me when the next one, you know. It's it's crazy when I have fans that, you know, probably the, the only time they'll see me up close is in the ring, but when I have family members that still hollering for my name, knowing they can call me, get an autograph anytime, they still trying to get one too. So that really is, you know, that's just tell how exciting, you know, they were. And, you know, I knew the, the electrician was going to be in the building, so, you know, I was just waiting for my moment to come out, and, you know, it was awesome, man. <laughs> Deontay, you were never a veteran guy tonight. There were some big fights, some big experience for you. You felt like you hurt him. Were you surprised that the referee stopped him? Or did you think it should be stopped? I, I think the referee did a great job of stopping him. You know, one, once I feel my opponent facing my glove, it's about a wrap. Most of the time, I mean, he's a very good fighter. I know he's a veteran in the game, but, you know, I'm an up-and-coming guy, and, you know, and I'm Deontay Wild, man. Yeah, you, know, you, know, thought, so, so you thought it was a good call by the time. That, I, I thought it was a great call. I thought it was great. I've seen it many, many times. You know, um, guys think they're still in the fight. I feel once they defenseless, you know, no matter what they're thinking, it should be called because it, in a matter of seconds, somebody can get seriously hurt. And I think it was a great call. How long have you been working on that shimmy that you showed us tonight? I just, I, I just learned it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> DeAndre, what about you? Did you, think, did you think you were out? Did you think it was a good stop? Um, I'm experienced, right? I've been, I've been with some of the world's best. I've been with some of the United States. Or, and um, honestly, I think the fight was uh, stopped premature. Um, I have a man right here say, he said, well, once a man's in the ring, he's defenseless. And, um, you know, it's time for him to step in and stop the fight. But I think as long as the man got his hands up, he's aware of what's going on, he knows what's going on. Wasn't, at one time, I was tied up in the ropes. One time, I went down to a knee. It felt like I, was, um, I wasn't looking for the corner. I couldn't see what the corner was, anything like that. And I could, I've been doing this for, you know, a day or two. So I think, I'm, you know, I think I can handle the, the situation. Um, I just think it's a little premature. We are professional fighters. We're working professional fighters. It's not like we uh, we train two hours, uh, you know, uh, 45 minutes a day, and then we, we go out here and, and, and try and do this. This uh, our profession is our life. So um, honestly, I don't agree with it. But I mean, well, well where's the expected fire to save now? I mean, I mean, on the end of the end of the something like that, when I stop it. You always want to say you, uh, you don't think he was a. Uh, uh, I don't think he was going to have it. I don't think he was going to have it. Excuse me. I know he has a job to do, but as a fighter, I have a job to do too. And I think, uh, I think honestly, um, I think the the, the crowd was cheating. The crowd was cheating uh, um, from the fight. I mean, like I said, we are professional fighters, and there's no longer amateur, so we don't. Um, it's not a fast pace the way it is an amateur, so you do have time to go. I seen what he had, and um, I thought, you know, my time was coming. And uh, like I said, I wasn't defensive. I wasn't <coughs> defensive. I wasn't hurt. But, uh, you know, hey, it's a great win for us. And, uh, I'm happy for him. For the media, a couple quick introductions. This is Casey Sears over here on the left, commissioner of Alabama Boxing, one of the guys that made this thing happen, Casey Sears. Also over here at the end, Mark Breland. I don't think there's any introduction needed here. Mark Breland. And of course, JD's, who put this show on fabulously. Any questions? And in the back of the room, in the green, Dr. Mark Heinrich, who will let us have this fight here at Shelton State. We couldn't have done this without him. Dr. John Taylor and their staff. I have a question for Dr. Heinrich. What do you think about these Shelton State trunks? I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised? I want you to wear them all the time. <laughs> It was it was it was even better than we thought it could have been. We we had anticipated this would be big. Um, I can't even tell you how many sleepless nights there were. I've been uh, under the weather for the past week, but there was no rest for the weary. Uh, the phone would not quit ringing. I'm not sure that I'll put my personal number out there for ticket sales again. I think that's what Ticketmaster is for. But, you know, we've always done that because we've always been able to handle it. But we, uh, we had gone up to Tennessee to spar. I said, Deontay, go ahead and get, get in uh, the gym and warm up. 
I said, I was, um, and I put my phone down, and he got warmed up. And I went back out to the car, and I like, had six or seven messages. I said, all right, I'll handle it when I get out. We went in and did the sparring with Alonzo Butler and uh, Joel Godfrey. Came back out, 36 messages, over 50 missed calls. And I said, boy, I said, D, we're going to have to stop somewhere, and I'm going to have to just start catching up on these calls. Ticket call, ticket call, ticket. So it, it, the, the, the energy, the interest is phenomenal, and I think that this really shows what, uh, what Casey had envisioned, um, you know, with the Alabama Commission, that, that this could be something really big. And we've had, to, we've had to prove a lot of people wrong, and me and Deontay had talked about that. But a lot of people that were not really wanting this thing to go well, not really wanting it to happen, um, you know, and we've had to fight for every inch of the way. And, uh, and to see it come through tonight and to see, um, you know, the commission there doing their job, it's, it's just been, it's unbelievable. And I tell you, it's so nice to have guys like Casey and the commission to do things that I'm used to doing. Because Casey told me, he's like, hey, that's not your call. I do that. And I'm like, man, thank you. It's just so nice to have something off my, my plate, you know, from a million to a little bit left, a little bit left. And he was just taking things off of me left and right. Sonny Cawthon, Jody McCormick, all those guys, uh, uh, Joe and, and Billy, and I mean, just, just, just everybody. It was, it was Mario. All those guys were just helping out every second. And they're learning on the job as they go, but boy, what a way to start. Mark, uh, Gary Harris, WDUA-TV. Deontay in there tonight was a veteran guy. Got to do his way around the ring. Just talk about his performance in your eyes, what you saw, and, and uh, did you get out of the fight tonight? What you were looking at? Yes, I mean, I saw a good fight tonight. Um, Deontay went on, you know, and did what I told him to do, use his jab, you know, stay keep your distance from him because um, you know, he's a he's a bad, he's a veteran fighter, tough fighter. Um, although I thought the fight should have been a little longer, but um, you know, that's a rough call. But uh, I think um, down the line, you know, he'll learn more and he'll learn from this fight. I mean, I think um, you know it could have been, like I said, more of a a much better fight for a little bit longer. Because, you know, some veteran fighters, they fight certain ways and it may look like, you know, that they're in danger, but that's, you know, that's the fighter's point of view. But then, you know, you have the referee. I mean, you got to respect the referee's call. You know, at, us as fighters, we don't care. You know, it's like, hey, I want to do this. But, you know, that's, it is what it is. You know, hopefully, um, maybe somewhere down the line they do it again. Yeah, I'd like to say one last thing, uh, but um, I just want to give a real shout out to all the undercard fighters. I, a lot of people have never been to a fight before say, is there only one fight? And I said, no, you need to get there and see what's going to happen. And I'll tell you, every one of those guys on the undercard from the first bout on, win or lose, everybody came here and gave it 100%, I felt like. Jay, slide that over to Deontay real quick. Sure. Deontay, get back to the Tuscaloosa angle. Um, there's been so much work, as you and Jay talked about, to get I mean, I want, I, I want to do this this Alabama Commission thing like Cincinnati do every month. You know, um, we've got a lot of fighters here locally. You know, around um, around the city, around the state. You know, great boxing. So I think keep keep it keep it active. I mean, we got a commission now, so hey, let's let's make use of it. You know, so. I'm willing to go every month, you know. So I, I'm used to going every month, you know, or every two months. So, you know, get a, get the a people a little bit more to do in the city. You know, everybody was excited. You know, you see the impact and the, and the turnout it was today. So let's do it every month. I have something to say. I mean, I don't want anybody to think, excuse me, I don't want anyone to think that I'm bad at my delivery or anything or, or his job. That's his job. He does what he's supposed to do. Um, I done fought all over the all over the world, the United States, and I think um, honestly, I feel bad. Not for me. I've done it. I lost more than once. I feel bad for people of uh, Tuscaloosa. I mean, like you said, we brought the look now. The house was packed. People were there expecting, you know, their good hard on hard money to see Deontay fight. And um, so I, 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 that's what I came here for. So that, that's what I'm up to. I don't want anybody to think that I'm up against the referee. Believe me, I've learned. Uh, I had great coaches, so I, I know not to ever go disrespect a judge or a referee or official about anything that happened in the ring. So I don't feel.
feel bad. Uh, I, I, I feel bad about not giving, not giving the crowd Tuscaloosa that they came here for. They spent their hard on money. Hey, it's a recession, so every dime counts. So I understand that you come to spend your money. You want to see a fight. You want to see DeAndre fight. That's what they came here for. So that's what. That's what. I don't want anybody to think I'm attacking the referee. To believe me, it's not that. I feel bad the fact that I cheated those people. And I think they deserve more. <clears throat> you, know, you see, the people came out here and pulled the horse and down. That's electric. It's electric right there. And, and, and just like it, it drove Deontay, it drove me too. And I want to give them that. So I do feel bad. I do feel bad about that. And uh, believe me, I will do my best to do anything I can to uh, get back here and give people Tuscaloosa what they deserve from DeAndre as a fighter. They deserve to see DeAndre as a fighter, give his best. And um, like I said, I. I Make some phone calls and get some things, <laughs> get some things in the work. And, uh, I get back there one way or another. Then I got a round more cycle, 12, 12 hours, 18 minutes. I get <laughs> All right, any final questions? I'd like to say something. I have refereed for a long time, and I've seen fighters, after they get beat, act like they wanted to continue fighting. I think that Deontay's opponent sincerely wanted to fight, wanted to keep fighting. I read him after the fight. I know that you really wanted to fight, but but my job is to look and see what I see. And uh, I still think that I made the right decision, but I know that you didn't really want to quit fighting. Thank you, sir. <laughs>